in this demo, I will show you how the job DSL works with the Node.js example. So here I am again at the Jenkins dashboard. To start working with the Jenkins job DSL, I have to make sure that the plugin is installed first. So I go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins, available plugins, and then I type the job DSL. Jenkins plugin to leverage job DSL core to programmatic create jobs from inside Jenkins. So we're going to create jobs using this job DSL. Download now and install after restart. We're going to restart Jenkins because nothing is running. And then we're going to create a new item. We'll call this our seed project. This project will create new projects or jobs based on what we're going to put in our definitions here. It's going to be a freestyle project. Press OK. And then from where are we going to get our data? We could just input it, like input the code that I just showed you in the last lecture, the theory lecture. This code example, we could just copy paste it, but let's do it immediately the correct way and let's get it from our version control because it's in version control, it's on my GitHub. So this repository is called the Jenkins course and this is the one I will be using. So this comes from Git and we're going to add a build step and the build step will be process job DSLs. And then once this project is cloned, we need to say to Jenkins, the script that we now want to parse is in job DSL Node.js Groovy. And then we will point towards the script. So that's what we're going to enter here, job DSL Node.js Groovy, which will then point to that script in the GitHub repository. Then we're going to save. And then we're going to run it. And the first time we run it, it has failed. So we have a look at why. And it says script not yet approved for use. So this is basically a safety mechanism because we need to first approve this script before we can use it. Before this code that is on my GitHub repository is trusted and then it can be executed. So we go to Jenkins, manage Jenkins, in process script approval, we see one, if you go back, one script pending approval. So that's a script that I just tried to run. So here's the script and I can say, okay, I want to approve this one. And then I can go to the seed project, build now. And it already ran, it said, edit items, generated job, note just example. So let's go back to Jenkins. Here now we have note just example. I'll just remove this other one so that you don't get confused by them. So this is the one note just example that has been created by the seed project. If I do build now again, then it will just say that it already existed. It was not created again, it already exists. Let's have a look now what happened here. Let's go to configure. So here we have now a Jenkins job that is going to check out this GitHub repository. It's going to pull the SEM and it's going to provide the node and the NPM using the Node.js installation. And then it's going to do npm install. So let's run this one. Let's run this Node.js example. Let's do build now. And then you can see it fetched Docker demo and it did the npm install. Let's go to SSH. Let's have a look on 
our digital ocean machine where this is all working so let's go to our terminal let's have a look at our jenkins docker container so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do docker exec interactive mode using this container id and i'm going to say give me a shell I'm going to go to var jenkins jenkins home and then we have the workspace the node.js example that has been created just now and here we see everything is installed the node modules is available so i do npm start then it has command not found but it needs it needs to be somewhere here in the jenkins directory so let's try to find npm so here it is it is a node.js installation so i just use the find command to find this so let's see we are going to set our change our path export path equals to path and then this so now our path looks like the normal path plus then this path so whenever we do ls or bash or, or node or npm it will ha have a look here this was exactly what's in this variable path and it will also have a look here in this folder where our node.js installation is this is just a little hack just to see if our application is running if you do npm start our application is running on port 3000 so this is actually working so this was just a test don't worry if you don't understand fully what path means it just means that whenever we type a command like ls or copy or move where this shell is going to look for files it just to see whether it is working like this i didn't do it last time not to confuse you but now that we get further into the course you will see me doing those small hacks just to see if something is working or not what we really want to do is we want to package this in docker and then publish it as well to docker hub which is easier than what i just did to test it we just want to push it and then we want to run it using docker that is what i will show you then in the next lecture in the next demo i'm going to show you to use the seed project to seed a second job that then will also do the docker build and docker publish if you want to exit this shell you type exit and then you are back root on the host system